If you're lucky, you get to spend your life, your work on one thing that's special. And I think this is it for me. And I do think there's a lot of people in this team who think the same. Graphene is the next nanomaterial that will change the world in ways that we don't even understand right now. When we first started out, we didn't have our 5,000 square meters that we have now. It was just five guys uh, in a shed. It was probably a year before we started flowing graphene. We had to go through that to get where we are now. Well, graphene is a single atom carbon layer, and it is the strongest material known to mankind, as well as the most conductive material for both electrical and heat. You have graphene on your toast in the morning. It's carbon, that's all it is. But how graphene manufacturing group is, it uses it to move heat faster. And when you can move heat faster, you genuinely save energy and you save emissions. And we also like to use it in storing ions. And if you can store ions better, which graphene can do, you can create new generation batteries. The overarching problem is the world needs more batteries. And we have a technology which can meet that demand. What our battery technology offers, what's called a high power density battery, which enables fast charging and, and fast discharging. The graphene aluminium ion battery enables a safer solution and also likely no requirement for any cooling. And then in these high power density applications where you want to charge batteries and discharge them very fast in rugged environments with the thousands of cycles we're seeing in our laboratories, the battery will also live longer. What we're working through with our partner with Rio Tinto is a pouch cell, um, which is a small little battery that you often see in the back of your phones. Now in a large truck that Rio Tinto needs, there'll be something like 100,000 of these. That's obviously not gonna get there next year, but we'll be aiming to produce a small module which will enable proof of concept for someone like Rio Tinto to then be able to talk to their equipment suppliers and then say, how can we work with this in our, in our equipment going forward? We've now proven that the science works. But the most important thing is we need people to be willing to be able to accept there's a new type of technology available. And that in the end is the most important thing. So every day our staff come into work, we know we are working on an absolute world leading technology.